What's up, my plant people? My name is Stacia. This is Oops, I Soiled My Planties, and thanks for coming to hang out. Alrighty, so today I'm coming to you from the garage with a dirty little project. I have some supplies here. We're gonna make a moss pole because I have a couple of plants that need one. And we're also going to do a little bit of air layering because I've got a couple of plants that have multiple nodes with nothing on them and then a big bushy plant at the top. I think I wanna chop them and start over. <laughs> okay, so first things first, we're gonna make the moss pole. Now, how I make it, usually I use fishing line. However, I am out or at least I can't find it. So I do have some other string here that I'm going to use just to secure the long sphagnum moss to the bamboo stakes. So let's grab a couple of these out of here. Oh, oh. So I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to cut them down. The best thing I've found to cut these down is a pair of Fiskars. They seem to work the best. They cut through and if you cut right above one of the nodes, it seems to cut a little easier. So I'm going to cut these both down a little bit shorter, but I'm going to have the two of them together wrapped in sphagnum just to give it a little bit more support on the inside. And then um, we'll put it in the plant and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So first things first. Now, they're long. When you do this, you want to account for soil in the pot. So I'm going to probably start about here with the moss and I want it to be a pretty decent size. So I'm going to cut here right above this node. Oh, that one's gone. This one. Yep. There we go. <laughs> All right. So they're a little bit uneven, not a big deal. Now, how I do this is, oh, we're going to be answering some questions too. Plant Plans 2021. I kind of figured I'd make this a triple whammy because there's not a whole lot of questions and sometimes I have a hard time multitasking. So if I get sidetracked from answering questions, it won't end up making the video that much longer. All right, so I've cut my bamboo down. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I've had the moss soaking for a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wring it out and then I'm gonna lay it here just to make my starter runner for my pole. So I need a little more, oops, my plant's in the way. A little more down at the bottom. Damn it, see, I'm already sidetracked to not answering the friggin' questions. All right, so that I think is going to be a sufficient amount of swag. I do have some extra here in case I need it, but for now, we'll just set it off to the side. Okay, question number one. What plant brought you the most joy in 2020? Um, I would have to say that my favorite plant of 2020 See, these are hard because I have so many plants that I just thoroughly enjoy. Um, honestly, I think it would be my Mexicanum. That one has been the quickest grower, the largest leaves, the most just oh, 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 inspiring. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a super cool plant. I'll insert some pictures of it so you guys can see what I mean, but she's a monster. All right, so how I start this out is, whoops, I'm already having issues. 
I will tie this around the end here just to secure these together, to keep them together. Okay. And then I just kind of run down the length of the bamboo just to make sure these two stay together. It helps them to stick together. All right, now, once I get to about where I want to start with my sphag, I will set this down and I'll gather the sphag. And then with the string, I wrap around the sphag to secure it to the pole. Grab a little more. It is kind of difficult, honestly, because you have to go around the length of the pole. But I like these. I don't know. I like these better than some of the pre-bought ones that I've gotten. I mean, I've gotten some nice pre-bought ones, but uh, maybe I'm more for the rustic look. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I seem to like making my own like this much better than I do buying pre-made moss poles. I think they look cool, but that's just me. It's my aesthetic. It's my aesthetic. All right. So as you can see, it's hanging on. You don't even notice the string. Okay, I should probably pick this moss up off my computer and then answer question number two. What's at the top of your wish list in 2021? Well, pff, that one's easy because this one's at the top of my wish list every year for the past two years. And that's the philodendron UPI. That plant just makes my heart sing in all the ways you can't imagine. <laughs> I mean, I have some stuff that's similar. Like I've got my, you know, philodendron jerry horn, which has, you know, the longer leaves like that. I've got the Mexicanum that gets the long leaves like that. I've got um, a 69686 that has the leaves like that. And they just, I love them. Don't get me wrong. I really do love those plants, but, um, It's not, it's not the UPI. You know what I mean? There's just something about that UPI that makes me super happy that I really want. <laughs> and one day, I mean, you know, everybody gets there. Everybody, if you work for it, if you strive for it and, you know, you earn it, you get it one day. So I'm sure one day I will. Um, I'm just an instant gratification kind of gal. And I want it to, you know two months ago, two years ago. It's just expensive. I mean, and I can't, you know, mama ain't got it like that. I'm trying to get myself to where I possibly do have it like that one day, but right now, no, 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 not even close. All right. So, I mean, as you guys can see, I'm just gathering up moss and then I'm taking the string, wrapping it around tightly into the long fiber sphag, you know, and it just grabs it and holds it onto the pole. I knew I was gonna need more. So yeah, I mean, a couple pieces are falling off, but we're gonna run back down it one more time with the string once we're done getting everything on there. Oh, gotta lean down for the moss again. All right, so as far as a realistic wish list plant that I have, um, ooh, I was tucking into my cleavage, so if you're muffled for a minute, my bad. Um, 
a Gygus. I'd love a Philodendron Gygus. I think they're just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I'm a very big fan of Philodendron and Anthurium and a couple of the Monstera. I'm not a big fan of all the Monstera, but I'm a, I'm a fan of a couple of them. But definitely Anthurium or Phil and Philodendron are the uh, ones for me. So if I can't get my UPI this year, I would definitely love to get my hands on a Gygus. If anybody's got one for trade, y'all know I got some plants. I'm willing to trade. Hit me up. Let me know what you're looking for. What you got? Let's grow our collections without spending a ton of fucking money. Because since I haven't been working, I don't have money like that anymore. Hence the reason you have not seen any unboxings nor any shopping trips on my channel lately. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm working, but I'm not working like a regular full-time 40-hour job. So, you know, I'm paying my bills. That's what I'm doing. I'm paying my bills. They're doing the important things. Anywho... Let's get this down here and then we'll continue on. And the next question is, what is something you need to do with your plants in 2021? Um, I need to definitely fertilize more often. I'm getting better about it, but I'd say for the majority of 2019 and part of 2020, I was not a regular fertilizer. I did it, you know, sporadically here and there. And when I'd notice the growth, I'd get excited. But do you think I'd fertilize it again? Hell no, because I'm a dummy and I just don't think about that kind of stuff sometimes. But now I've made myself <laughs> a little memory. I actually put the fertilizer right there at the sink where I fill my um, nice water pitcher to water. Oh, going back the other way is definitely not as easy as I did as it was going up. Um, yeah, so I have the fertilizer sitting on the counter where I water my plants. Oh my gosh. Um, and that's a reminder for me. It, it kind of, you know, kicks me in the ass and says, hey, 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 you know, <laughs> you still got uh, work to be doing around here with these plants. Oh my God, you guys. See, this is why I did this in the garage because it is so messy. Once it's in the plant, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, just like doing it like this, definitely a messy, messy chore. So no pretty plant background today, but y'all are gonna be getting a few videos from out here. Besides, it's easier for me to film out here because I don't have any of them assholes I live with bugging me. <laughs> I love them, but they come at the most inopportune time. Like when I'm trying to film they come and want to talk and stuff. And then I feel like a jerk when I tell them I don't want to talk right now. <laughs> or I can't because I'm busy. Um, all right. So now I'm going to wrap this all the way down to the bottom. And then I will do a little knot down here to tie those together. Whoop, almost lost it. Okay. All right, so. <gasps> well, maybe that's not going to work like I had hoped. The moss was too heavy for that. <sighs> Bamboo's not supposed to snap like that. What the fuck? Alrighty, kids. So, change of plan. Since it decided it's going to be a shorter pull. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this tied on ok 
Okay. Moss pole. We will put that in the plant shortly. All right, you guys, we took a little intermission to go ahead and grab the plants that we're gonna air layer and um, to so soak up a little bit more sphag. And it looks like it's just about ready. So I'll explain to you how we're gonna do this. And I'm sure you've seen other people do it. If you haven't, here you go. So I have this plant here. This is my philodendron tripartitum. When I got it, it had some pests. I have since taken care of the pest issue. Oh, it's just a piece of dirt. <laughs> And everything is starting to look better. The new pieces are starting to grow in nice. It's got a little bit of moss on it from where I flicked the moss off of the table a few minutes ago onto the floor because we're in the garage and I can do that. <laughs> so as you can see, this part here is very bare. And then we have two, two pieces coming off here. So I think I wanna air layer around this piece here and then Eventually, I think, well, maybe I'll start up here. I'll start with this piece, I'll air layer it, and then I'll air layer this one at a later time. And then I'll cut this off and probably cut up the nodes and, you know, do some propagating, make use of my grow tent since I've got it, I might as well use it. So I have a side view camera here. Let me just make sure. All right. So I do believe you can see what I'm doing. If not, this is a learning experience and I'll change shit up next time. So the first thing I wanna do is have my sphag ready. I've got some Velcro tape here and I've got some cling wrap here. So I'm going to actually get a piece of the cling wrap ready. I'm just gonna get a piece and lay it flat on the table. And I'm, because you know, the wind blows and then that stuff shifts and then it grabs a hold of itself and you have a no good piece <laughs> of cling wrap. So I got it laid out under a couple of things. I'm going to take some of this moss and squeeze it out pretty good. And then up here, I'm going to take the moss. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this because this will make it a little easier because I can cling the cling wrap to itself. All right, so I'm going to take this and wrap it around this part of the plant right here. Oh my God, it jumped out of my hand. Of course it did, why wouldn't it? All right, come on. Get it wrapped around. We've got it wrapped around, okay? Now, I removed the Velcro initially so I could get it around the plant, but let me get this one wrapped back up so it's got a little something to support it. All right, I'm gonna let go for just a second. And then what I'm gonna do is cut a larger piece and I'm going to go around what I air layered and the pole just to give it some support so it's not falling down from the weight because I'm telling you that sphag when it's wet is pretty heavy. So I do think that should do it. We're just gonna let that one do its thing and we'll check on it soon. All right, next one. We have my 
philodendron mayo eye okay so this is a nice plant i like it i chopped it before this is the new section it's growing it's got a funky shaped first leaf here and then it's got you know uh, starting to become a normal looking shaped leaf there but it's got three different parts of this growing off so there's a part here there's this main piece and then there's this piece so i'm going to air layer right here and take this to uh, actually i'm going to air layer here no i'm going to air layer right here and i'm going to take this top cutting and then i'm going to let the bottom continue doing what it's going to do so first thing i'm going to do is actually take this piece of velcro and go down here with it just to make sure while I'm working on the upper part of the plant first of all it's not in the way secondly the plant isn't completely breaking while I'm doing what I'm doing okay so I should have gotten my cling wrap ready first but I'm bass backwards so I didn't all right let's do this quickly now so because God knows my luck, good swift wind. There goes my cling wrap. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Haven't been answered questions. Okay, so now. <laughs> what would you like to learn in 2021? Um, I would like to learn more about pollinating anthurium. Um, I've got a pretty large anthurium collection going i freaking love them you guys i cannot get enough i would buy every single one i ever possibly could if i could but it's pricey as most of you know so sorry let me just get this wrapped and then we'll talk so i would like to learn a little bit more about pollinating anthurium Um, so I can start because um, last year or this past winter a lot of my stuff has flowered um, but at different times and I wasn't prepared I wasn't ready I wasn't ready so because of my lack of preparedness I missed out on a full season of flowering okay so there's what we've got going on with the mayo eye. So we've got these top leaves in this one, and then all of that down bottom will remain as it is. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me take a couple minutes and just talk to you without trying to do something else because I am horrible at multitasking at times. Okay, so... Um, I definitely like to learn a lot more about pollinating anthurium. I think it's such a cool thing. I would absolutely love to have a greenhouse full of them because they are one of my absolute favorite genus of plant. I just cannot get enough. Um, already, what can you guys, my subscribers, expect in 2021? I don't know, because last year I wanted to do a bunch of stuff at this time. This time of year, last year, I wanted to go blob jumping, and I wanted to do a whole bunch of other stuff. And then COVID happened, and we went on lockdown, and while they still let us work here in Florida, the fun stuff wasn't going on, except for bars. You could go to the bar, you know, and you could be right next to somebody at the bar. That was okay. <laughs> but... Anyway, um, so I mean, you can expect for me to come on and share my love of plants with you, to share some of the ways I care for my plants. If I've got something new that I've learned, I will definitely share it with you. If I have a skill, like making a moss pole, I'll share it with you. If I start making enough money to be able to go out and shop again, you guys, I'll definitely take you on some shopping trips, and I'm sure I will. I, I'm back to work and such, so it, money will be a little less tight, and I'll be able to go out and do some more shopping, and um, yeah, so you guys can expect to see my face, hopefully a lot more regularly than you did last year. That's something you guys can expect from me. Weekly uploads. I will do, I'm not going to say I'll do my best, because that always gives you an out. I promise I'll do a weekly upload for you guys and I will do my best to get it on the same day. So I'll make sure it's weekly and I'll try to get it on the same day, but that I can't promise. I can't promise the same day thing, but I'll try because I love you guys. I'll try <laughs> already. Um, and who am I tagging? Sarah, I don't know if you've done this. 
I've been watching, but I can't remember. Reb? I don't think I've seen either of you do this one. And if you did do it and I missed it, I'm a dick and I apologize. And so anybody else out there who has not done this Plant Plans 2021 tag, come on with it. Let's see what you got. And as I always say here on my channel, thanks for coming to hang out. Y'all come back and bring your friends. If you don't want to bring your friends, that's cool because you guys are the reason I'm here and I'm doing this. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.